Now, a critical mental health benefit for Salt Lake City Police Department is suspended. It's called Employee Wellness and Support Program, and this week, the police chief shut it down. News specialist Debbie Worthen has more on this. Debbie, how did the program work? Well, a big part of it is peer support. So I'm told that if an officer or another employee of the Salt Lake City Police Department was dealing with trauma from a call or some kind of mental health issue, they could reach out to a trained peer support mentor. Now, they say that was critical because those are people that they already trust and respect. That decision, very difficult decision, was made after we learned some important information about the program that required us to conduct a thorough review of that allegation. So Salt Lake Police Jersey Department Jersey spokesperson Brent Weisberg yeah. won't say what that allegation is, just that it's serious enough to shut down a program successfully helping hundreds of employees with mental health. This is a decision that affects nearly 700 people, potentially. That help coming in large part from peer support members who help teammates as they deal with vicarious trauma. As we know police officers and anyone who works in public safety, whether you're a 911 dispatcher or a firefighter, when you go home, you're still bringing your job home with you. To bridge the gap, the department says they have partnered with licensed clinicians, many who have worked on the front lines themselves. And for now, the department will cover the cost. The Fraternal Order of Police Capital City Lodge released this statement to KSL-TV that reads in part, While we support justice, we recognize there is a domino effect that affects members of our lodge and on a grander scale, the police department. They also say they will offer resources to Salt Lake police officers while the peer support program is being evaluated. Weisberg says the department knows the program is popular. This is a resource that is used throughout our department and that's great to see. So that's why this was a very difficult decision for us. He says bringing it back is a top priority, but there's no timeline on when. We're still in the very early stages of gathering information, so it's hard to say. Now, the police department says they know that this program is important and they know that their officers and employees are much more likely to go to a peer rather than to call a hotline. They say that's why it's so important to bring it back as soon as they can. We will follow up and see when that actually happens. Dini? Yeah, bottom line, you want first responders to get all the help they need so they can help all of us. Right. Debbie, thanks. Salt Lake police officers and anyone else struggling with their mental health, at least for right now, can get help by calling or texting 988, and that line is staffed 24-7.